I'm Professor Gonzalez, and today we're going to talk about ratios. The ratio we're going to cover is the liquidity ratio. So what is liquidity? Liquidity is how quickly we can convert an asset into cash. So think of cash as being the liquid, like water. When we look at ratios, there's a couple things you have to keep in mind. First is you always want to look at the industry standard because basic guidelines for ratios may not apply to specific industries. And the other thing is we don't like to look at ratios standalone. We want to look at them either compared to industry averages, compared over time, so how they are changing from year to year, or comparing them to competitors. Also, sometimes if it's an internal ratio calculation, we may compare it to departments or stores or regions. So we're gonna look at two ratios under liquidity. The first one is the current ratio, which is one of the most commonly used ratios. So to calculate the current ratio, we take our current assets and we divide them by current liabilities. So as a reminder, current assets are assets that are expected to be converted to cash within one year or used within one year. Some examples are listed here on the slides. Current liabilities are liabilities that we expect to pay within one year. And some of the examples of current liabilities are listed on the slide as well. The current ratio is a rate and it indicates how much current assets we have compared to current liabilities. So a higher rate is better because it shows how likely it is that we can pay off our short-term debt. A guideline, remember these guidelines are just standard guidelines, is a two for one or higher is considered better because that would mean you have twice as much current assets to pay off your current liabilities. The next ratio is the acid test, also called the quick ratio. It's really the same as the current ratio, except now we're removing some of those current assets that aren't quite as current as the others. So we can't convert them as quickly to cash. So examples are inventory, supplies, and prepaids. Those are removed. So in the formula you're seeing here, we're taking cash plus short-term investments plus current receivables. That's removing the inventory supplies and the prepaids and then dividing that by current liabilities. This is also a rate. And again, the higher, the better typically, but not always, just keep that in mind. And we're usually looking for a guideline of a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning we have the same amount of the current assets listed as the current liabilities. And that's considered lower risk. So let's just look at a quick example of both of these ratios looking at financial statements. Now, those assets and liabilities are found on the balance sheet. And usually financial statements will separate the current assets and current liabilities if they don't you would have to go through and know which ones are current, which ones are not. And on the balance sheet, note that in the US, the assets are ordered in order of liquidity. So on the current ratio, we have the 843,000 and it's being divided then by the current liabilities of 430,000. So for this example, the current ratio is 1.96 to one. So we have almost twice as much current assets as current liabilities. Then we look at the acid test ratio. Now what we're doing is again, doing those short-term investments, the cash and the receivables, but you can do this in multiple ways. You could look for all of those in the current asset section, but instead what I've done in this example is I've taken the current asset amount of 843, and then I've just subtracted out the 33,000 for the prepaids and the 332,000 for the inventory. And there was no supplies on this balance sheet. If there were, I would have subtracted that as well. And then divided it by the current liabilities of 430,000. So the acid test or quick ratio is 1.11 to one. So we have a little bit more current assets than we have current liabilities. So I hope this video has helped and thanks for watching. Please click on the Advantage logo to subscribe.